Hello and uh, welcome back. Yes, again, now in this video, uh, we are going to finish uh, trying to improve, enhance uh, our speaking English on the topic of uh, therapy in general. Yes, uh, in general, again, yes, in general, I think it's a matter of, it's a matter of uh, trying to keep our physical health, mental health, and emotional and, and spiritual health, uh, starting from the very beginning, yes. At the end of this presentation, the, la the, uh, the last slide uh, is about uh, our immune system, yes. So, for example, if we have enough, plenty of knowledge about uh, about uh, protecting uh, protecting the health of our immune system, then of course it is natural that it works well. So it is, uh, as you know, it is also our protective system, defense system. Yeah, okay, immune system, and just like this, uh, just like this. Uh, we, I believe that we also have uh, that kind of innate, uh, innate systems uh, that will uh, protect us from the, from the all uh, negative, negative things, and uh, will also, uh, will also help us uh, keep our positive sides yes so uh, in short it's it seems that it's a, a matter of uh, positivity and negativity okay uh, so we should by using our self control uh, auto control we can uh, try to we can try to uh, keep our uh, health in general again Okay, now uh, let's start the third uh, video about therapy in general. Okay, yes. Again, therapy in general. Keeping pets for, for companionship and friendship and having some hobbies, for example, may, can also be healing, yeah, healing and helpful. Okay, uh, let's try to focus on uh, keeping a pet. Yes, keeping a pet can help us to avoid or to refrain from, these are really beautiful expressions, can help us to refrain from becoming obsessed with some problems. So uh, it we understand that we should be careful, we should be attentive, uh, we should be aware we uh, we should be we should uh, be aware uh, from the very beginning. Yeah, we should be aware of uh, what positive things are and what negative things are. Uh, so it really requires a preventive preventive medicine. Yes, kind of preventive medicine may mean uh, preventive medicine may mean. Uh, being uh, careful about all positive things, including our health, from the very beginning. Okay, are the animals stronger or weaker than us? Of course, animals are uh, stronger than us. Uh, some animals are stronger than us, but some animals are weaker than us. But, uh, but uh, in a psychological way they are weaker than us we feel that they need our help so uh, we we feel the need to help them to be helpful to them okay how do we feel if we care for a weaker creature of course uh, we feel the sense of compassion the sense of love yes uh, when we care for a weaker being, yeah. Now basic budget care, okay. They are really lovely, uh, lovely uh, birds, budgies. 
Dialogue two, it's almost certain that stroking a rabbit or a cat relaxes us. Yes, it is almost a fact and reduces our anxiety. Why is it a sort of therapy to have an animal around us and just to watch it? Okay, because they say that each animal uh, has a soothing and comforting presence. Their soft fur, for example, can stimulate or release of oxytocin. Yes, they can cause it. They say that again, experts say that looking at an animal inspires us tenderness. Yes, even I heard in an article, for example, I, sorry, uh, I read in an article that even watching a fish in the aquarium can reduce, can reduce your anxiety, they say. Okay. It is also said that having a pet inspires us respect for the people around us. Yes, of course, it's a matter of love and respect, uh, harmony. Excitement, yes, excitement breaks, relieves the monotony. If you have excitement, you can get out of, you can get out of monotony. What else breaks the monotony? Of course, production. Production also breaks the monotony. You feel, uh, you feel the a beautiful sense of doing something, producing something. Okay, travel. They also say that if you travel, you feel tranquility. Positive change. Of course, there is no doubt about it. Positive change. Uh, also relieves the monotony. Having a goal, yes, they say that the goal of a positive thing is the soul, is the soul of that thing. Uh, so uh, it is really has a spiritual side, psychological and spiritual side, aspect, dimension. Okay, reducing and relieving unpleasant feelings is a kind of therapy. Of course, there is no doubt about it. For example, if you love doing uh, something positive and uh, if you feel that uh, you it, it relieves uh, unpleasant feelings, of course, it's a kind of therapy for us. Tension can be relieved. What other Unpleasant feelings can be relieved. Anxiety can be relieved. Stress can be relieved. Sadness can be relieved. And anger can be relieved. Of course, all of them, as uh, we mentioned in the previous video, all of them uh, needs, all of them need, sorry, all of them need management. Okay. What are the ways to enliven pleasant feelings. Yes, engaging in activities we enjoy, we love. Practicing mindfulness, connecting with loved ones, and pursuing our aspirations uh, are the ways to enliven pleasant feelings. And I'm sure you have heard that even talking to, even just talking to a person, even just having a conversation with a person can be a therapy uh, for us and therefore uh, it is essential uh, to come together with our friends and family and neighbors uh, yes because uh, it is a natural therapy whether we are aware of it or not uh, dialogue six there is no such thing as Kafda in Turkish a mythical mountain yeah does anything exist as Zümrütü Anka Kuşu in Turkish again as a phonics? Of course, uh, nothing uh, exists uh, as, uh, phon as a phonics. phonics. May there be a relation between storytelling and therapy? Will you respond in 30 words? Again, uh, our uh, consultant is ChatGPT. 
let's see what ChatGPT said about this point. ChatGPT, yes, storytelling and therapy are closely related, connected with each other. Storytelling in therapy aids, helps, self-expression, catharsis means a therapeutic, ther therapeutic technique to relieve tension, metaphorical exploration, and identity developments, facilitating healing and personal growth. Okay. It's possible that individuals rise like a phoenix does from its ashes after learning something about science, art, and ethics, of course. When and how else can individuals become more and more successful in their life? Of course, by uh, applying, by fooling those uh, brilliant uh, standards, principles of, again, uh, science, art, ethics, religion, uh, and uh, aesthetics. Gen uh, yes, as I said in the previous, one of the previous videos, Charlie Chaplin said, uh, I saw it, uh, I saw it on the Facebook, Charlie Chaplin said that uh, sunshine is a doctor. Yeah, rest is a doctor and exercise is a doctor. So there is action in exercises. Yes, for example, a professor, yes, uh, on the field of medicine uh, talked about this and I not, uh, noted uh, some points, some important points about his speech and I hope it will be useful for each of us. Yeah, okay. They are really gentle. They are not that hard. Okay, gentle exercise for the health of our whole body. The physical activities are good for our neck, arm, shoulder, hip, leg, toes, and stomach muscles are like this. For example, to flex your neck first by turning your head to right, Make it wait, yeah. Make it wait for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then turn your head towards left. And again, make it wait for five seconds. By lowering your head, turn it to right. Again, the same action. Turn it to right and make it wait five seconds. After that, repeat the same activity towards the left and carry out each one five times. Okay. Uh, five, without raising your arms. There is a line here. Okay, yes, for neck and uh, arm, neck, arm, and shoulders. Without raising your arms and by keeping them on sides like this, lift, raise, or shrug your shoulders and stay like this for five seconds. Yes, repeat this activity five times. Okay, shrug your uh, shoulders, raise your shoulders and uh, lose them, uh, uh, relax, and then raise again, okay, and let them uh, lose again, okay, five times. For hip, leg, and stomach muscles, standing upright, put your hands on your hip and bend your body towards right, Keep this position for five seconds. And after getting the upright position, repeat the same activity by bending your body towards the left. Carry out the activity towards each side five times more. So for leg, two, sorry, 
to stomach muscles. Crunch on your toes. And keep it like this for 10 seconds and then release. And then crunch on your heels this time, lifting your toes. First on your toes, then on your heels. Repeat each action 10 times. To stay healthy, it's advisable to carry on such gentle exercises and avoid strenuous ones, difficult, hard ones, because they need an expert to do, to carry on to apply. Now, yes, immune system. Uh, immune system is the system by which our body protects itself against diseases. What makes our immune system strong or what boosts our immune system? Oh, yes. Uh, Chad, uh, this, uh, no, okay, now this is after this uh, information, uh, from the internet, then we will ask the same question to ChatGPT. Okay, let's read this. This this stimulate the hormones which strengthen our immune system. Sun, they say, experts say, yes. Sun uh, strengthens our immune system. Sunlight, sunshine, yeah. As uh, who was the that famous uh, actor? Charlie Chaplin, yeah, as Charlie Chaplin said, sunshine, okay, sunlight, vitamin D, omega-3, fish oil, fresh seasonal fruit and vegetables, plenty of water, walnut, yeah, they all strengthen our immune system. Fresh seasonal fruit and vegetables, plenty of water, walnut, almond, peanut, dark yellow and uh, orange colored foods, yellow squ squash, carrot, orange, tangerine, egg, olive oil, hazelnut oil, staying out in the open and sunny weather at least one hour each day. Now, ChatGPT, will you answer uh, this question in four words? What makes our immune system strong? What boosts our immune system in another word? Let's see what ChatGPT said about this vital point. Oh, yes, we have two paragraphs. Okay, first one. Proper nutrition, of course, it is very vital, proper and seasonal. Yeah, seasonal nutrition, regular exercise, adequate sleep, stress management, and vaccine uh, vaccinations all contribute to a strong immune system, a balanced lifestyle, of course, and a healthy diet with vitamins and minerals play vital roles in boosting immunity. Or, uh, secondly, a healthy lifestyle with balanced nutrition, regular exercise, adequate sleep, enough sleep, stress management, and vaccinations can boost the immune system. Proper nutrition, including vitamins and minerals, uh, of course, fat and proteins is essential for optimal immune function. Okay, thank you again. Uh, and uh, see you next time. I wish you, uh, I wish you health, wealth, and happiness. Okay, see you next time.